Radiant Hands was founded in 2005 in Gainesville by women who were concerned about empowering women who'd been in bad situations and were unable to get to where they needed to be to be self-sufficient. And then in October 2015, we were approached by the Office of Refugee Resettlement. By the end of 2016, 80% of our clients were refugees from over nine different countries. When the family arrives, we do an intake for them and uh, get all the information that we need to open a file for them and after we start helping them with their food stamp, with their medical insurance, with their uh, employment, teach them how to, you know, the, to, to deal with the lifestyle, with the changes that they have here. We introduced four new programs in addition to the already existing program like uh, social integration and uh, children education. Uh, you know, it's a cultural change, it's a big change for them. Uh, our services do not stop. It's a non-stop service. We're introducing a new app uh, currently so people can donate in that app and they can uh, learn about our new uh, programs, our news. So when we first started uh, working with refugees, the largest population of refugees in Tampa were from Afghanistan, Iraq, and Somalia. In 2016, we had a large influx of Syrian refugees, and they became 30% of our refugee population. The other countries of origin for the refugees were Eritrea, Sudan, Pakistan, and Chad, with a very small number from Congo. Uh, some of the Congolese refugees that we've helped have been Christians and some of the Syrian refugees that we've helped have been Christians, but we have been asked to work with them because of the language and the culture. So at this point, the refugee population has almost stopped as far as new refugees coming into the country with the new administration. We went from receiving six families a week to two to four families per month. We have had tremendous support in Tampa from our own Muslim community, as well as churches and synagogues in the area, um, volunteers from USF, from other organizations, who have really all come mainly because of the buzzword Syrian refugees. Once they come into Radiant Hands and we educate them on what the background of the refugees are, they have been willing to help all of them. We're getting ready now for our annual toy clothing and gift drive before Ramadan, and we will probably give out uh, clothing and toys to over 300 people. One of our biggest successes now is working with Radiant Kitchens, which is a group of 11 chefs who came here as refugees. They just completed their training last week in the food safety uh, program, and we're hoping that this will help them get into their own businesses or work with larger restaurants and be able to support their families. We started a very successful tutoring program a few months ago. Um, USF students have been running it. Because Tampa actually has a sizable Syrian refugee community and as well as refugees from other areas and so there are several things that we could do to help them one being uh, tutoring their children I love the enthusiasm from the USF student body they're always looking to help and that's one thing that us as students organized for Syria were able to do is to actually provide you know volunteers for these types of things because we're not experienced we're just a bunch of students but with the guidance from Radiant Hands we were able to actually go and get things done. It's always refreshing to take a few hours out of the week um, and work with some work with these kids. They're really special and they really teach me a lot about their culture. Though I'm teaching them English, math, science, um, they're teaching me a lot of stuff about life which um, I definitely can use in the future. At the picnic we played games and growing up in the United States uh, we're very familiar to them but for refugees um, that are coming from Syria uh, they're not familiar with three-legged race or hula hoop chain or a sponge relay. So this was a chance to kind of uh, introduce new things to them uh, from the American culture. A smile just keeps you going, recharges your battery, and makes you want to put in more work and never stop helping these people. It's very rewarding and, it, and you can just tell the kids are very grateful and very happy to see that there's, there's people and there's a group of young people that really care and are willing to help them. Most people will tell me they did not even know there were refugees living in this area. Um, but through talking a lot and exposure and collaboration, the news is out there. A USF FAST 56 award is a very interesting award. It was started five or six years ago. They recognize 56 organizations that are either run by or owned by USF alumni. And it's really based on 
growth over three years. And my main goal for getting this award is just to give more exposure to Radiant Hands and the work it does and to get other USF alumni and organizations involved in supporting what we do. When we first joined Radiant Hands, we weren't quite sure about the name and, and what it meant, but the longer I've been here, it is it just the, the good radiates out into so many directions and affects so many people that it really is probably the best name for our organization.